place like it in the world. A museum and playground designed for disabled children to enjoy free of charge. But as News 12 New Jersey's Matt Murphy reports, this one-of-a-kind facility may soon be nothing but a memory. A 25-foot clown, a dinosaur made of bicycles, a maze of colorful tires. It's all part of a unique amusement park which for decades has provided entertainment for countless children, many of them disabled, free of charge. I wanted to build something that can go on forever for the handicap and whatnot with no strings attached. He's known only as the Greek, and he has operated the Greek's Playland and Stone Museum here in Monroe Township for 37 years. As this online video shows, much of the 87 acres was used for his landscaping company, which supported the museum in Playland. But the laughter of children may never be heard here again, as he has been forced to close. Well, you know what happens if you've done this all these years, and if you have nothing else and this is what your whole life is, it's like you losing a child. As the Greek has grown older, his primary source of income has changed to hosting banquets at what's called Garden Falls. But he says he has to expand the business in order to be profitable. A variance needed to do this was denied by the local zoning board. A published report indicates access, parking, and noise to be the problems. I left several messages with the township engineer asking for details as to exactly why the Greek's application for a variance was denied. He never responded. The Greek plans on going before the zoning board again with a reapplication on November 30th in the hopes of reopening the Playland and Stone Museum. Where can you go where a museum is free? I get 20 calls a day where, geez, can I bring my children there? My, my parents brought me there, you know. Where can you go? In Monroe Township, Matt Murphy, News 12, New Jersey. And the Greek says that the Stone Museum in Playland has hosted over 700 free parties for disabled children and adults since...